we're here at State Simulation Center, and this is our center that actually simulates the intensive care unit. And we want you to know a little bit more about the intensive care unit before you actually see some of these kinds of patients. So today we're going to talk just a little bit about what kinds of pieces of equipment you might see in here and the kinds of things that you might need to be aware of going forward. So the first thing we're going to talk about is just when you look at the patient, stand back and look at them and see what they have maybe attached to them. So the big piece over in, on the other side of the bed is the ventilator. Now this ventilator is not turned on, but you will see a ventilator similar to this and sometimes even a bigger one. But what you will see is that they will always have tubes that run from the ventilator, two tubes that come up and attach to what a patient is on for an endotracheal tube. That tube is going down into the trachea and sitting just above the divide of the lungs, um, uh, the um, carina, and then it is actually putting pressurized air into the lungs. Now we've talked about this in your conditions class and in several other ones. It's important that this stays because many of the patients may not be aware enough to be able to support their own breathing. So this is um, when a patient is intubated, this is what you will see, and this you will see a ventilator that's usually attached. Uh, the second thing that you're going to see is there are lines coming here. Now these ones are not attached to the IVs, but this IV pole has a number of different things attached to it. So it has a bag with some medications in it that might be running down, but it, you also might have some of these that would be attached to the monitor monitor is actually showing you some of the things that are the criteria on the patient. So the top one would be the heart rate, you would see the blood pressure next, and you would often see um, a pressure uh, area that uh, another level of pressure that's being measured at the level of the heart. Um, and then you will see quite often that the um, pulse oximetry or the level of oxygen the patient has is also on this. And it very much depends on the patient. When you turn a patient or when you move a patient, a number of those criteria might go up or go down, and you need to be aware that um, what, the, what the patient was like when you came into the room and then what that patient's uh, changes are when you're moving them or when you're doing any treatment with them. So the other couple of things that you're going to see with this particular patient is you're going to see, uh, we, we've also included a chest tube. A chest tube is inserted into the uh, pleural space between two ribs, and that chest tube is usually there to either drain fluids from a lung, around a lung, or to actually support the air um, that may be leaking from the lung itself or from an injury. And you will see that attached to a pressure um, element, and we'll, we'll look at this a little bit more closely in a second, where we actually have what's called a pleurovac, which is attached to this patient. The other things that we haven't set up here is you'll often see that a patient has a bag for urine, and it will be um, attached to a catheter that is going either into the bladder or into the um, penis. So we need to be really careful with all of those pieces of equipment when we move a patient. So let's stop now and we'll go and look a little bit more closely at some of these things.